In this lecture, we shall see a better method for generating the user interface in MBC. We have already seen one method. Now we shall be following the second method for generating the same user interface but with greater control. Let us see how. This is what we have done till now. We wrote one line of code and it deduced the whole user interface from our model and its annotations. But if we see clearly and closely we do not have any control over the HTML that is generated. Suppose we want to align the elements properly, bring them in one same line or bring them in two lines and if we want to relocate the location of validation messages, it is not possible here. You cannot move around your user interface elements in this case. The entire control is taken over by the MVC. Now we shall learn how to write the whole of the user interface with greater control over each of the elements. We will now see that we can freely write, we can freely locate the validation messages. We can freely locate the text boxes. So let us see how to do this. In this method, instead of using this function editor for model, we use two other functions. We do not use this, but we use editor for and pass a lambda to the property that we want to display. This will create the proper user interface for this property. Instead of creating the UI for the entire model, this one will create the UI for this property only. So this means we can locate it anywhere. This is one thing. That instead of using editor for model, we will use editor for with a lambda that points to the property. And about the validation messages, we will use a separate function called validation message for and here is the lambda. This lambda will point out to the property for which we want to display the validation message. So we have broken this entire blob into separate parts. For each property we can have its user interface and for each property we can have its validation message. This definitely gives us a much bigger control. So let us see how to apply it. We can create a table here for demonstration purposes. So uh, we have quickly written it here and let us discuss the various parts. This is your HTML dot begin form. The table tag starts here and it goes till here. Then we have the TR. This TR tag is for the username and this TR